श्री भूपेंद्र सिंह वाइस चेयरमैन सर the honorable minister has brought the amendment of the <coughs> merchant two amendments the merchant shipping amendment bill and the merchant shipping amendment second bill and sir uh, amendment to the principal act of merchant shipping 1958 <coughs> has been brought sir it has been discussed that upa government nda is carrying the whole thing government is a continuous process in our country and it is good that what good things are there has to be passed by the house both house or the parliamentarian it is not that the government of their own bring it or brought it whether it is upa or nda it has been raised by honorable member in the past this uh, to bring amendment to both uh, on the principal merchant act of 1958 for giving protection to the laborer and those who are working on that sir no country in the world has progress without communications normally go back to 1960s we thought communications means telecommunications uh, tele telegrams rail road but we should understand that the nature has given us so much of water bodies in the country now we are talking about price rise and everything honorable minister sir is uh, definitely surface transport minister also uh, looking after <coughs> shipping but on road we are having nhai through four lane six lanes what have we done in regards to shipping in regards to the port in my state sir we have paradip port we got it with lot of struggle the second post we are now trying in gopalpur from after independence after the uh, day of the government take over in our system how many ports has been uh, uh, we have improved so that those ports will only create this price rise to the extent that if we transport goods through rail through air or through road or by ship by water bodies what is the is there any evaluation on this is there any monic or working on this that if we do this that uh, the cheapest would be by water bodies if that is so i wish that states like kerala state like odisha bengal tamil nadu wherever the uh, the sea has all through uh, almost 500 km of over 500 km of coastal uh, area is there in my state so i urged upon the minister it is time that we are in 21st century and almost one and half decade of 21st century 21st century speaks up if we want to be india is to be number one it is to be any any country in the world sir go back to history has become number one not with without communication it can never be number one so we are still poor how far the water communication is <coughs> there it is a great it is a, it is it is better late than never that the government of the day should think about this now since regarding the <coughs> act sir it has been as i told you many members have raised in both lok sabha and rajya sabha for this amendment it is nothing new but it is good that as we like to live as human beings we have rich a uh, <coughs> uh, marine organic within the under the water they also has to live for a <coughs> natural uh, equal imbalance balances now you that is why sir it is good that the uh, minister has said that the reason he has already the object has been uh, told by the minister but i would like one sir just so now i would like to request the minister that actually we have to see that water bodies the port should be increased and we should give area of unemployment unemployed youth to put into this and the compensation part has not been very much if there is a casualty what exactly the compensation the family will get that has not been uh, uh, addressed so i would like that while passing at the passing stage when minister will speak he will address this exactly 
what is the compensation that that will be given Thank to the uh, family members of the uh, uh, workers? Thank you.